Hey Spartans, show up this Thursday for your boys basketball games. JV's at 5, Varsity's at 6. Show up guys, blue out. Hi, I'm Sam. Hey, I'm Izzy. And this week's question is... Who do you think our kickball winner is going to be? Who do you guys think is going to win juniors. the kickball tournament? Juniors. It was the first juniors. We got more juniors. Put it up on the screen. Hey! <laughs> Who do you guys think is winning the, um, the, the tournament of kickball next week? Seniors, hand down. Seniors. Seniors. Put three seniors up on the top. <laughs> Miss Mellon, who do you think is winning the tournament of kickball next week? What class? I think I'm gonna have to go with the seniors. Put another senior up. The juniors? The juniors? The juniors. Who do you guys think? <laughs> put, put three up there, I don't know what that was. What class is winning the kickball tournament next week? Definitely the um, juniors. We yes. have another junior up there. Who do you guys think is going to win the kickball tournament next week? What class? The freshmen. Yeah. Sorry, it's the freshman stats. Freshmen, they got wrinkly legs. We got our first freshman votes. Put four of them up on the board. What class do you think is going to win the kickball tournament? Juniors are winning. Put no. another junior up there. The on there now. No. This is crazy. Sophomores have no votes as we <laughs> as expected. Thank you for all of your answers this week, Spartans. Well, who do you think is going to win? I think uh, the juniors because we're like really stacked. I mean, we have Wrong. Lost. The seniors are going to win. That's not true. No. Hi, Orchid Academy. I'm Miss Willis and I teach ninth grade English, 12th grade English, and concurrent enrollment English. Um, I'm this week's staff spotlight. I have two bachelor's degrees from UC Berkeley. I studied anthropology and French and French film studies. Um, and then I got a master's from Berkeley in French and French film studies, specifically focusing on genocide and torture narratives, um, understanding like palimpsestic overlays in a post-colonial context. Um, and then I got a teaching degree, a master's in teaching from a small university in Oregon, um, in a little town called Forest Grove. So my first uh, teaching degree is actually to teach in the state of Oregon. If I wasn't an English teacher at Orchid Academy um, and I was independently wealthy, I would probably work in social services of some kind. Um, I really think that people in our prison system need a lot of support. I would probably still be teaching, but in like a prison system or context. Um, I also think a lot of people need representation, legal representation, um, at a, like a lot of different levels, and I think those are skill sets that I can provide. Um, I think a piece of advice that I would give to the students here is that if you're ever um, upset with the way that the world is, um, something that I like to consider is that you're living in someone else's constructed imagination made into a reality. So like. None of this is happenstance, it was all created. Um, and if you're unhappy with something, you can change what you're unhappy about and start to create a new reality for people. Um, and thank you for having me for this week's Staff Spotlight. It was awkward. Hi, I'm Logan Gentry and I'm this week's Senior Spotlight. My favorite class at OA is definitely Mr. Mason's pre-calc class. I mean, he's just such a fun guy and it's a good class. My favorite memory was definitely limping to the doctor's office, 
or front office with a broken arm. Um, Mr. Mason was really there for me, but uh, in all seriousness, it was actually probably getting pied in the face at one of the rallies. It's pretty fun. Some of my accomplishments are I got the Spartan Achievement Award for pre-calc. Thank you, Mr. Mason. And then also I was an international exchange student with CBYX, so that was pretty cool. And then I've been on robotics for four years doing that and got a good GPA and um, class of 2025 rallies, stuff like that. Yeah. I'm also the president of the surf club. You should join. Get in the water, catch some waves. My advice to freshmen is that even if you're super into school and you're getting good grades and stuff, try to have as much fun as possible. Don't take anything too seriously. You're probably not gonna see most of these people again, so if you think it's embarrassing, just do it anyway. Bye Spartans. On my arm! <laughs> see you next week Spartans!